here and a new display pilot commandant and yet uh, top of the board. Call sign Gizmo from 31 Squadron at Kleiner Global. The aircraft flying at about 120 knots, very high alpha, uh, which means the wings are struggling very hard to uh, keep the lift required to keep this aircraft flying. Uh, again, no thanks, uh, in no part thanks to uh, the fly-by-wire system on the aircraft. Flying into uh, about a 20, 25 knot headwind there, its speed over the ground is just a little over 95 knots, or about 100 mile an hour. Or to put it in perspective, slower than the cruising speed of a Piper Cherokee. Accelerating at roughly 20 knots per second, 
or about 22, 23 miles per hour, which is the equivalent of 0 to 60 in a high performance car in just three seconds. And on this now beautiful afternoon, the smoke winders mounted on the wingtips, very much assisting with watching the spiral descent. They originally had 160, that's now down to just 54. But they're much more capable aircraft than they started out, thanks to the midlife upgrade, making the Belgian F-16s and those of other European NATO F-16A and B operators very capable in the air-to-ground sphere, as well as very good air-to-air -air dogfighters. to uh, a very capable bomber aircraft, which means it still has the ability to protect itself on long-range missions. And the Belgian F-16s have seen plenty of those in recent times, taking part in the Afghanistan conflict, as well as 2011's operated Operation Unified Protector in Libya. Undercarriage now down, but not for landing. Instead, the F-16 is going to make a low go around, not actually a touch and go, but a low approach.